good day and thank you for watching Tiger Beat. I'm Crystal Thomas. I'm Irma Mora. And I'm Annika Clinton. In this episode's top stories, Brunei University hosted its annual winter weekend. Brunei University students will be in an exhibit at the High Museum of Art in Atlanta. Alumni Day is coming up. And flu alert, a message from Health Services. Also in news, sympathy to the family of Kareem Coco Lott. Also, stay tuned for sports news with Amber Mora and Annika Clinton. On February 1st through the 2nd, Brunei University hosted Winter Weekend. The event is geared towards high school students interested in attending the Women's College at Brunei University. This also provides an opportunity for an overnight visit where prospective students can get a closer look at what it's like to live at Brunei. As a part of Winter Weekend, the Brunei Ideal Scholarship Competition is held, formerly known as the Miss Brunei Scholarship Competition. It took place this year. Thirteen freshmen and sophomores competed for scholarships in the areas of performance, public speaking, and writing, while the oratory and essay portions of the competition were previously scored by Brunel faculty and staff judges, the talent component was judged at Pierce Auditorium. The candidate with the highest combined score was Stephanie de Soldiers, and she is the Brunel Ideal Scholarship winner. She received a $3,000 scholarship for the next academic year. The cumulative grade point average for all the contestants was a 3.49. The contestants were Brittany Button, Melinda Cassidy, Cassidy Collier, Stephanie DeSoldiers, London Farrow, Madeline Herberman, Taylor Mays, Jenna McCarthy, Samiro Mohammed, Joan Pak, Lisa Slotz, Ari Snowden, and Denisha Troy. It was a great weekend full of pride and inspiration for Brunel students and for our visitors as well. About 85 works from Brunei University students, mostly majoring in fine arts and interior design, will be on display from now until February 14th in a special exhibition at the High Museum of Art in Atlanta. This is the first time Brunei University will be participating in this event and everyone is really excited about it. Student works were based on and selected on the Ball Jury Design Exhibition, an award-winning work from past Brunei collaboratives and MID slash MFA portfolio exhibitions. Works were chosen by faculty and some were award winners from the jury exhibition in the fall. This is an interdisciplinary exhibition including works from Brunel students studying art and design, interior design and mass communication, theater and liberal arts. But students studying other majors have works in the exhibit as well. Brunel students may request a free admission ticket to the event and students featured in the show have free admission as well as two additional tickets for family members or for friends. For more information about tickets and exhibition times, visit Brunel Update or highmuseum.org. In other news, the Brunei University Athletics Department and the Office of Alumni and Events will host an Alumni Day on February 8th. This will feature an at-home basketball game versus Reinhardt University. The day will also include a pre-game pizza party, a special gift for all attending alumni, and special seating to cheer on the Golden Tigers basketball team. Lunch begins at 1 p.m. in the fitness center, followed by the basketball game at 2, and all alumni are encouraged to attend. For more information, visit update.brunel.edu. The following is a message from Brunel University's Health Services. Flu activity is widespread in most of the country, including Georgia. High flu activity will most likely continue for several weeks. If you had not gotten a flu shot vaccination this season, it is recommended by the health services that you consider it. The Hall County Health Department, located at 1290 Athens Street in Gainesville, still has flu vaccines available. For further information about Hall County Health Department and how to get a vaccine, call 770-531-5600. Flu vaccinations may still be available from your primary health care physician, local area drugstores, or minute clinics. It is advised that you contact them to confirm vaccination availability if you are still interested. Flu-like symptoms include the following. Fever or feeling feverish, chills, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, muscle or body aches, headaches, fatigue, and some people experience vomiting and diarrhea, though this is more common in children than adults. If you display any of these symptoms and think you need to be tested, contact Brunel Health Services at 770-534-6135 or stop by the office located at the Center for Health and Wellbeing at 205 Boulevard in Gainesville. The best prevention other than the vaccine is good hand washing and the covering of the mouth with tissue or shirt sleeve while coughing or sneezing. And last but most certainly not least in Bernal news, our deepest sympathy is with the family of longtime Bernal housekeeping employee Kareen Coco Jackson Lott. Jackson Lott passed away on Wednesday, January 22nd at hospice after suffering from a stroke. She was 64 years old. Lott started work at Bernal University on March 15, 1976, continuing through the 2006 transition of some of the Bernal University housekeeping services to Aramark. 
She worked continuously until health issues forced her retirement and was highly regarded for her pleasant demeanor and great sense of humor. She is survived by four daughters. For more information, visit update.bernow.edu. That's all for Bernal News, and up next, Bernal Sports News with Amber Moore and Annika Clinton. The Bernal University golf team is holding tryouts this semester for new members, so if you are interested in trying out, contact Coach Stancil. Students who are interested in trying out must fill out an athletic questionnaire and waiver form prior to tryouts. Prospective players will need to provide a copy of their schedule to ensure full-time student status. And interested students must also meet National Athletic Intercollegiate Association eligibility standards. Speaking of golf, over the break they have been able to secure two commitments. On January 17th, West Hall High School's Olivia Davis signed with Bernal University Golden Tigers. Davis was chosen as an all-area team member, an AAA honorable mention selection, and she was a three-time recipient of the West Hall High School Scholar Athlete Award. On January 27th, Statesboro High School Sarah Jane Bauer signed with the Golden Tigers. Bauer is the 2013 GHSA Girls Junior Selectional Challenge Match Champion, the 2013 Forest Heights Country Club Ladies Champion, a Wendy's Heisman High School Award winner. Our Golden Tigers softball team will open the season as number 17th in the national ranking in the NAIA Coaches Preseason Top 25 poll. Led by head coach Devin Thomas, the Golden Tigers returned 10 players from last year's squad, including NAIA All-American Selection and SSAC Freshman of the Year Liz Schneider and All-Conference Standout Jenny Shepard. Softball starts its regular season on Friday, February 7th, when they head to the second annual Hamp Jordan Classic to face Benedict College and Ohio Valley College. Our Golden Tigers were ranked sixth place in the NAIA Women's Tennis Preseason Top 25 poll on Friday, January 24th. The tennis team competed against Division I Georgia State University in an abbreviated exhibition match in which the Golden Tigers were shut out. The Golden Tigers will open their regular season on Saturday, February 8th at 1 when they host Clayton State. Our swimming Golden Tigers have been doing a great job during the break. They dominated the tri-meet against South Georgia College and Thomas University on Friday, January 10th. On January 18th, they swam against the NCAA Division II Converse College and swam past them with a score of 140 to 75. On January 25th, the Golden Tigers placed first on the first day at the Berry College Viking Invitational in which Berry College, Birmingham Southern College, Converse College, and South Georgia College participated. On Friday, January 31st, the Golden Tigers fell to NCAA Division I, University of North Carolina at Asheville with a score of 119 to 81. The Golden Tigers dive in again on February 13th when they travel to the Appalachian Swimming Conference Championships in Christianburg, Virginia. Over the winter break, our basketball team worked hard to gain an 11-9 overall score and a 6-6 SSAC record. During the course of the break, the Golden Tigers defeated Reinhardt University, Clearwater Christian College, Bruton Parker, Southern Wesleyan University, and Allen University. They fell against Kalamazoo College, Martin Methodist, Faulkner University, and Southern Poly. On Saturday, February 1st, the Golden Tigers defeated Auburn University at Montgomery, 67-61. And on Monday, February 3rd, the Golden Tigers defeated College of Coastal Georgia, 79-72. On Thursday, February 6th, the Golden Tigers faced Emmanuel College at the Tigers' Lair. Due to inclement weather, the Golden Tigers' match against Morris College has been postponed to a later date. We will keep you posted on the new date. Let's show our support as the Golden Tigers face Southern Wesleyan University on Saturday, February 8th. And for more information on res results and schedules, log on to the Bernal University Golden Tigers website, www.bernaltigers.com. We have three featured Golden Tigers this episode. Bernal University basketball player Jasmine Butler was named Athlete of the Week on January 13th because she averaged 10.5 points and 9 rebounds in two games against Martin Methodist College and Bethel University. On January 22nd, another Bernal University basketball team member was named Athlete of the Week, Nakia Brown, because she averaged 16 points and 7.5 rebounds in two conference wins against Br Bruton Parker College and Southern Wesleyan University. On Jan January 31st, a member of the Bernal University track and field was named Athlete of the Week, Hunter Creswell. 
After last year's injury and surgery, Creswell competed in her first meet in which she had a personal record performance with 10 feet 2 inches in pole vault. Congratulations, ladies. Well, that's all for Bernal Sports. Last weekend was Super Bowl 48, in which the Seattle Seahawks defeated the Denver Broncos 43-8. to The Seahawks linebacker Malcolm Smith was named MVP of the match, while Broncos quarterback Peyton Manning was heavily criticized. Well, that's all for sports. This has been Brunei University's Tiger Bee. I'm Crystal Thomas. And I'm Yuma Mora. And I'm Annika Clinton. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Stay, Stay golden! golden.